Rat row. We have a turtle icon. It said hot battery, like, and I hit okay before I meant to, because I was trying to clear the thing. Anyways, uh, never seen that before, even last year when we were charging at like 120 degrees. I can see there's a ton of gray bars. Uh, I want to turn the car off and turn it back on. And then see if it like resets it. It may need to just like cool off for a second. Uh, I don't want to get on the freeway with the turtle icon. Limited battery due to hot perform, hot, limited performance due to hot battery. This is scary because it's so dangerously hot. We don't want to get stuck anywhere. Yeah, I'm not going to get on the freeway like this. No. So. High voltage battery is at 122. And it was 125, then 124. Oof. It's gonna take forever. We may just have to, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, there's no way that we can get there if we don't drive tonight. Yeah. So we may be driving late. Um, as long as everyone knows, I don't know. Because we can't stay here overnight and make the meetup in the morning. No, no, not a chance. Yeah. In the meetup, we would love to do the Vegas meetup, but we got to get to San Diego and we have buffer time. Uh, but basically, I think we need to get to Vegas so that if we do have to get a rental car or something, that we can do that. Of course, the dealership won't be open till Monday. Tuesday. No, they'll be open for Labor Day. Oh, okay. Um, Patrick had checked into our hotel while we were having lunch. So we have to get to Vegas. We have to get to Vegas anyways, because if we don't, then we miss the meetup tomorrow for sure. And also then we, I don't know how we're gonna get to San Diego. Or we order a tow and get towed 44 minutes, it says, uh, however many miles to see the city, because that's the closest Ford, where we could then rent a car. Or do we hang out and wait for them to fix whatever this is, but we don't really have time to wait. Like the impact of missing work is huge because we're taking a whole week off work to go to the Detroit Auto Show next week too many things to think about it's too many things to think about but like we're trying to do all this stuff and uh document the maki stuff and all that with our day job so we took uh, <laughs> we took a whole week off work to go to the detroit auto show do some cool ford stuff all that so we don't really have any time off to mess with so we really 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 have to get to san diego where we have an office waiting for us at my dad's house that we've carefully planned for and all that um, so we have to get there and start work on Tuesday. <laughs> Limited performance due to hot battery. We have been parked in the shade, aside from going to the car wash and back for an hour. Even though we didn't do the car wash. No, we didn't do the car wash. Hey, so what do we do? Order a tow, drive to Cedar City. I mean, we're definitely not getting a car rental here. No, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. This is a terrible place to be stuck. Although at least we have this hotel right here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So the turtle is gone, but we still have very, very limited power. Um. I'm not sure. So I'm not an expert on this stuff, but high voltage battery minimum temperature is 116. Uh, high voltage battery max temperature 120.2. So not far from that. Um, high voltage battery coolant inlet 118.4. I'm gonna turn the car off and see what happens when I turn it back on if like the turtle comes back on. So we're gonna give it a second. Put my foot on the brake. No turtle, still a ton of gray bars. So uh, we may drive around a bit and see if we can get it to cool off some. And 
at least get to see their city and then think about what we're doing there. Uh, but that's, I'm getting ahead of the game. I think we're going to get some water to make sure like if we have an issue that we have a ton of water with us. So that's the big thing. Yeah. And we'll go to the restroom again and then do this. I'm really nervous. We were talking about it. Um, just that OG Blucifer was tried and tested. It'd been through 120 degrees and Blucifer Jucifer has not been through such challenges. So I'm nervous, you guys. This could be us stuck. All right. Whew. Got a gallon, I think. Anything to just help us survive if anything happens. Because, uh, you know, tow trucks with flatbeds are not as common. So, all right. Let's go see what Patrick has discovered. I see he's messaging with people. I'm hoping that the gray bar is down a little bit. Um, and what does that mean? Like, can we not go over a, like not put much power in the vehicle? So like not go over 40, but we could still drive. I don't know. Hello. So I see you're messaging with people. Yeah. Any success? So he wasn't sure exactly what temps that we need to get it down to, but he goes, even with the turtle, we should be limited to like 60 or 65. Uh, I thought it was like 20, but we did 40 going over to the car wash. So even if it comes back, we should be able to get to Cedar City, even at 60, 65. Um, and maybe we should drive at that speed the whole way. Well, I, I'm definitely not going to do 80. We're, we'll take yeah. it a little bit slow. And if the bars go down, I can at least monitor that. I'll keep this running, let you hold this and we'll watch those temperatures. And if it starts creeping up, we'll slow down. And if we have to, we'll yeah. turn around. So I filmed this when it was charging yesterday, I think. I don't, but anyways, you can hear the fans on, the vents are open, but it's not like super high. Like it's thinks that it's way, way hot just like normal on a decently warm day but it's still 100 degrees out here so I don't, I don't know why it's not going a lot faster so okay all right patrick is back we have oh look it says 118 so i think this is what i'm going to pay attention to it's the high voltage battery temperature right now it's 118 when i was looking before it was 120 so it's good on the next screen, we have the max temp. So now it's showing 118.4. Um, so Patrick recalls seeing 125 when the car went in total. So I'm gonna keep an eye on these two screens while he drives, um, just mostly directly on the high voltage battery temperature. And you still got gray bars. We're gonna just try to get to Cedar City, which is 44 miles away, I believe. And we're not gonna worry about anything other than getting there just getting to cedar city i don't want to think too much about anything else right now cedar city yeah. ford may be closed by the time you arrive and i'm saying cedar city ford because if we do run into issues that's where we're going to try to end up what i'm going to do is go around this way before i get on the freeway and maybe give it a little bit of time at slower speeds did the gray just go no it's the same uh okay and we're watching everything happen. We're still at 118. All right. So Patrick's been driving at about 45 miles an hour. Um, I'm gonna really frustrate him by documenting this whole thing, but you just focus on, on driving. I got my eye on the temperature. It's still 118 on the high voltage battery. We'll see how it goes um, as soon as we increase speed, which is pretty soon. We're coming up to the on-ramp just around the corner. We're at 50 miles an hour now, so still 118 degrees. And then we can see the battery giving power. 24 kilowatts. We're still at 118 Fahrenheit. You can tell that Patrick is just going slow. It's 
good. Now we're at 49 kilowatts, still at 118 degrees. Seven, jump in between 30 and 50. The car was saying blue cruise available. I feel like you want to just do it yourself, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that gave me a little flutter because, like, oh, ah, I know. I saw that too. And that's an optional thing to have that let you know when blue cruise is available. And I have it turned on. still at 118 degrees you can see the little box above it is where i'm looking at the kilowatts uh so now you can see that patrick is giving it 21 to 20 something kilowatts of energy when he was braking that was going into the negative so that was what was going back into the battery um we're still at 118 degrees which is great and he's sending out a, a cool 60 miles an hour and neither of us are breathing. Yeah, and I didn't realize I should have checked, but it looks like we have climbing to do, which is probably the worst thing we could probably do. That is not good. Maybe you can slow down even more and do hazards when we start climbing. I'll tell you how the battery does, but you don't even want to regen because that'll heat up the battery too. Mm -hmm. So just tell us slow. Yeah. Which I won't reach in going up, but I will take off one pedal for now. And you're in Whisper. So that's good. Still 118 degrees. As you can see, you can see the literal start of the climb there, which is scary. Um, we're still at 118 degrees. Hold your breath with us. And as soon as we started climbing, we were in like 20 to 30 kilowatts coming out power. Um, and then it popped up to 40 and 50. Now we're stabilizing again, so it's back down to 20 and 30. Um, still 118 degrees. Ooh. Now we're going on a downhill, which is also scary. Uh, it's very pretty. Is that a bonus? I'm Kinda just gonna, one pedal's off, I'm just gonna let it coast. Good idea. Not trying to regen anything. Will it regen while it coasts? Maybe if I use the brakes. Oh, here. Yes, it will. It's regening negative three, four, six, a little bit. eight. Um, so like a roundabout when you came to a full stop, 10, 11, 10. Okay, now we're evening out. Yeah, I've put the accelerator on just enough to maybe keep it from regening. Yeah, that's a, this is helpful. Yeah, now you're basically at zero. You're like floating around zero. Um, now you're at two, so that was really good. Like you moderated that really well and now you're giving it more power again. And you're still at 118 degrees. Okay. Yeah, but your speed's getting up a little. We may want to drop to 65 again. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Just because we're coming downhill and people are flying. I don't yeah, wanna that's be fair. an impediment. Patrick's in communication with a Ford engineer and uh, he just took our bin, so we'll see if he has any input. Be really interesting uh, to know what's happened with this. If we didn't say while we were waiting the hour and a half, we were <laughs> researching on mach -E forum like you do. Uh, and we did have one other person who had this exact same issue. And like us, they were sort of doing all the good battery stuff. Like we didn't have the air on too high. Uh, it was set to 70. Um, what it's, else? You weren't pushing it hard. Yeah, it's stuff that, I mean, it should be fine. We were doing the speed limit. We had we, the AC on, we charged. 
we've done uh, this in worse temperatures at OG Lucifer. For for them, I think their car is now still at the shop uh, two weeks now because the chiller is bad, which hopefully that's not our issue because they're saying it could be a couple of months to get the part, uh, the parts on back order. Oh my God. But the main thing for us is we just, we have to get to San Diego or someplace we can work. And yeah. then we have to get to Detroit because we have tickets. But we have to get to San Diego to get to Detroit. And this was like, <sighs> really want to see family. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we're going to get somewhere. Yeah. Like even as if it's driving in the middle of the night to get to Vegas, uh, we'll, we'll get somewhere. We'll, I'd like to get to Vegas tonight for the simple fact that there is a lot more there. There's an airport there. So like we could even fly from Vegas to San Diego if we had to and get family yeah. to pick us up, you know. Actually, that would not be bad, yeah. So Although we, it would be bad because we didn't pack for flights. We have work laptops. We would just yeah. check Dump everything as much as we can. Oh, yeah. We do what we got to do and it's all super, I mean, it's, you do what you got to do. Yeah. But that gives us options versus if we get to Cedar City only, then we have to uh, somehow get to Vegas if we want to fly or rent a car, which wouldn't be horrible. But then it's like if we had to come pick the car up, we have to get to Cedar City, not Vegas, which yeah. is harder. Um, and like, all, all we need to do right now is get to Cedar City, but I am percolating. Yeah. And Cedar City is, I think I just saw, it's like 170 miles from Vegas. So even if we did like 60 miles per hour at night, you know, we would need another charge. But we'd be charging at night and we just dropped a temperature. We dropped a degree. Ten, yay. We went 17. We haven't seen that happen in a long time. So that's great. Good job. You're doing well. You're at 69. You're expending 14.5, 13 to 15 kilowatts. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. I thought I was going to see it go up. So like, yeah. And okay. So the first thought is we just get to see the city. The second thought is we get to see the city. We have to charge. So find a shaded charger and charge fast and unplug. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and we may do a level two charger that would might get us enough to get to Vegas. Yeah. So then we don't have to DC fast charge. Yes. And a level two charger may kick in the fans more like it's supposed to and then not be an issue. And are there good level two chargers? And well, that's what you're going to research. What I'm for. Not while we're on the camera necessarily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, because that may take a while, but we'll let you know what we're doing. Yeah. Actually, I'll stop right now. We'll enjoy this straight downhill. Feels kind of straight right now. It's just straight. This I mean, you can straight. see straight, but can you? And you're expending around 20 kilowatts now, just mm -hmm. so you know. Um, now back down to 10. Still at 117 degrees. I'm going to go look on plug share and we will touch base soon. <sighs> Should I share the update? Yeah. So the engineer that we gave the VIN to is so helpful. Um, and he said that um, he had a buddy look at the codes. It looks like the car was requesting battery cooling earlier and didn't get it or thinks it didn't get it. And the code can prevent proper cooling until after a sleep cycle. Sleep cycle by Walking away, select the car and walk away for 10 minutes, get the keys all away from the car and let it sleep. And then it's gonna reset all the codes, uh, which we didn't do because everything that we heard was stay in the car with the AC on because that keeps the coolant running. Yeah. Um, so the car didn't get a chance to reset. And we're still at 117 degrees for the high voltage battery and Patrick's keeping it at like in the teens for the kilowatt expenditure. Um, yeah, and then he just said, give it a try and see what happens. So we are, I, I navigated to Electrify America in Cedar City, mostly because I know there's a Walmart there, so we can go into Walmart, walk around for 10 minutes and be away from the car. And 
if everything resets and the battery is cooling itself, then um, maybe we charge some there. There are a couple other chargers that we can hit before we get to Vegas. I just have to make sure that we are have enough range. We have 156 miles of range. We'll have like 136 in Cedar City. So we don't need to charge there. Uh, so more than likely what I'll do is like, just make sure we get to, can get to the next one. If everything does reset, I'm getting ahead of myself. But and how do we know if it reset? All the gray bars would be gone. Okay. Okay, uh, and then... And, and I think, like, when we turn the car on, like, normal, when we turn the car on, it's, like, 100 degrees outside. It's just, like, it, it, it sounds like a jet engine of cooling fans. True. For at least a couple of minutes while it's, like, ooh, it's hot. Let me cool and then on. hopefully we'll see the high-voltage battery temperature drop a bit. It's 97 outside. High-voltage battery is 117. So if it resets and we start it and this is down quite a bit, that's good. If we hear the fans, then we can potentially assume that they'll come on when we DC fast charge, wherever we do. The only question would be, do we want to do it in a major area where we can get a car rental? Right. So yeah, the next one would be St. George slash Washington, which is not, that's closer to Vegas. So that would be okay. And I know there's a lot of stuff there. So if we can make it there uh, another option we were looking in oh yeah we we were gonna uh, look at level two charging in Cedar oh, yeah. City so that's also an option we <sighs> could charge just for a, a while there so like if this doesn't reset it or anything like that we'll go find level two charging charge up give us a, a bit of a buffer to get to Vegas and just get to Vegas tonight and there's a bunch of level two chargers in Cedar City and it looks like all of them do a fee so they're all at hotels so if you're a hotel guest you can charge for free and if you're not then it's ten dollars uh there's a super eight uh, motel six best western um and they all seem to have a tesla destination charger and a uh, 1772 plug but we actually have the tesla adapter so we'd be good either way yeah, we we're <laughs> going to make a video about the Tesla adapter. We still will. It might be out already. Yeah. It might be. Yeah. Yeah, we may do that first because that's easy to edit. But <laughs> this might be a beast to edit. Um, you're you're outputting. It was 39 there, but you're still at 117 degrees. I just feel like this is a, a safety blanket. Just watching the temperature, I'm yeah. like, oh. Okay. We should go. Yes. And talk again as we're getting to. Cedar Getting City. in there, yeah. Already okay. Charging station. Touch base soon. We are 0.8 of a mile away from exit 57 to get to Cedar City. It's been, we've been really nervous. Yeah. Um, especially like last time we got the turtle, the car shut down on its own. It well, which it was terrifying. It put itself in the okay. park. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, you know, you just don't know what's going to happen with the turtle, but the engineer that Patrick knows is very reassuring, like, it should be fine. You don't have to white knuckle it. The turtle will just limit your power. And by um, the way, she's meaning with the other Blucifer, our original Maki, yes. a uh, long time ago, over a year ago, we had a, a downhill uh, issue. We went up and down Mount Evans. We'll just link to the video below yeah, we'll if link, you're interested. Or in the eye. <laughs> it's a lighthouse here. Yeah, do you remember that last time? No. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Sometimes I forget stuff and it's like it's all new again. Uh, I, what does it say? Providence. Okay. Is this a sister city? Have we been through this? Oh, I forget. One pedal's on. Oh. I was using the brake, but I still forgot. <laughs> um. And last time in that other video, gosh, it's bright. Um, when he came to a stop, it would shut down. So now even him stopping is like a scary trigger. <laughs> so we're just going to pull in near the charger, I assume, and just walk away. We could even park in the handicap bay. Um, we'll we're going to park away from everybody. That's also a better idea. And away, parking out from, well, we're going to park near the charger, but I'm going to park so that 
Oh. If heck, sorry, oh, I'm not used a, to. <laughs> this is how it is when I drive. <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to park near the charger, but I want to park uh, so the car is hopefully not blocked by anybody. Like and a, towable. Towable. Uh, the Maki doesn't have tow points on the rear of the car. So you want to make sure you give yourself room. I'm going to go over here next to the charging station. And what's plugged in? A Kia? An, a Kia Nira, I believe. Uh -huh. So it's actually putting the nose into... The, the shade, shade a little bit ish god i'm so rough with i know <laughs> that's how i drive though that totally makes sense and a lot of the bars have gone not a lot it's like 50 50 bars it wow. was 80 percent gray bars now it's 50 percent gray bars and we're at 115 degrees fahrenheit and that was another thing that the engineer said was you're probably reducing the temperature while you drive if you're not like pushing it um and we did not push it no and honestly we didn't push it much the whole day except like Hit well, 80 when we got into Utah. 80 miles per hour yeah. is quite a bit on a car sustained. You wouldn't think you're going to kill it. Go. But then again, ice vehicles are overheating. So hopefully we're going to sleep cycle. So I'm showing the gray bars. That was uh -huh. like 80% full of gray bars. Now it's 50%. Let's go give it a sleep cycle. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Anybody know Shh. any uh, car lullabies? Do, do, do. Play it now. <laughs> All right, let's go. We yeah. Go. <laughs> go to sleep. Close your eyes, little Maki. Reset errors, you'll be fine. And the Kia is all gone. I love Lucifer Trucifer. <laughs> all right, we just got back into Lucifer Trucifer. And see what Come happens. On. No gray bars. Come on. Well, there might still be gray bars. What? But will it's less. It's less. Now I signal lost. Shh. I hear that. Now I hear the pumps and stuff. Oh my goodness. I feel it. I feel the yeah. floor. Shall we go look outside? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Or I'll, yeah, I'll go I'll with go you. I'll go look. I'll mm -hmm. leave the car door open so it doesn't okay. honk at me. Yeah. Oop. Ah. There we go. That sounds better, right? Yeah. Was it doing that before? The fans were on, but it didn't seem like it, this seems like a bit higher. It's hard to, for you guys to probably tell, but it feel it, like you, you can feel the pumps working and stuff more. Let's hop back in and see if the gray bars are going down at all. And let's look at the temperature on car scanner. Oh yeah, let me connect. All right, so remember when we left the car, we were at 115. So it's at 113 now. Okay. Which could have happened while the car was off, but that actually sounds like cooling is happening. Mm-hmm. I feel like, I don't know, I want to see that temperature go down fast. And I just checked as we were walking to the car, St. George is like 45 miles away or something like that. So there's a charger there. What we may do is go to St. George and if the gray bars are gone, we'll sit in the car, we'll DC fast charge enough to get to Vegas. If the gray bars are back. We may stay in St. George or find a level two charger and charge for just two or three hours. And the great thing is, is that St. George is the same distance that we just drove from Beaver. So we know that we reclaimed about 2% temperature, mm -hmm. uh, about two degrees of temperature. So if the car is actually cooling, we'll probably see more than a two degree improvement, although it is very hot. Yeah. <sighs> we just won't see turtle. So I'm going to go swipe to other ones. And I think what, what the deal is like some of these sensors don't update that often. So maybe we're getting some cooling already. It's still blowing cool air out of here. That was one of the things where like, are you getting cool air from here? And when he says that the engineer was asking that, cause if we weren't, then there's an overall problem, right? <laughs> yeah and this is lovely cool air that sounds loud 
Like when we were sitting begging for the fans to come on, it mm -hmm. was not that. Okay, we've been in the car. I should have made note of what time, but it's only been two or three minutes. And we had a two degree temperature drop. I can still feel the vibration of the, the pumps. It's not quite as bad. It's not like super uh, vibration now, but at first it was like, like you could really hear the, the car working to cool everything off, but it's still way better than it was while we were in Beaver. And we're literally at 111 degrees. So we dropped two in just a couple minutes. Whew, that's a relief. Yeah. That is a relief. It feels like we can go. Yeah, I think I'll give it a little bit more time. I'm gonna message the engineer. There's a Bronco over there, sorry. Mm, that's a good color. I Cyber like how orange. you always and, distracted by cool cars. Uh, yeah, I'd like to see that drop down to like 109. It is still uh, like 90 something degrees out here. Let's see it says Google. it's 100. It says yeah. it's 100 there. That's always off, but on Google it says 92. It is 655, so we should get some better uh, temperatures for the evening. We will have at least three hours to get to Vegas. We do have to charge at some point. So I think our plan now is to go to uh, Washington slash St. George uh, and then maybe charge there. As long as the temperatures are down, if we're not able to get this down more, then we will just stay the night there. But um, the, the other thing the engineer said is like, we should be fine unless we're really pushing it in the car, which means if nothing else, I can slow down and do like 65 or while it's DC fast charging. And even then the turtle will protect you, which I think mm -hmm. we should make a shirt. The turtle will protect you. That's what I said. So yeah, that's what Liv said. That was her idea. <laughs> so uh, if if uh, nothing else, um, we, we could always charge, get up enough. Really want to get to Vegas in case we have issues. And we really want to do the meetup. 109. 109. Yes. Okay, we're good. Um, also, well, it says 3.4 kilowatts of energy being expended right now. So That's for the cooling pumps. That is, uh, I don't think it was doing that before. Like so when like we were we sitting actually, idle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, and that's consistent. So it's like 3.3, oh, 3.4. Yeah. So it's very consistently spending energy to cool itself off. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> okay. Um, and the engineer said maybe it was just some glitch in the matrix. Literally. There's, there's not a, a problem. Yeah, he quote, unquote, uh, that maybe there was not a problem. Maybe there was just some glitch in the software with the charging station or the car that caused it uh, not to cool. Uh, the code basically said that it asked for cooling and didn't get it. Um, so, you know, as we haven't had any problems driving. There's a problem while we're fast charging, so maybe we can just monitor that. And we did do, that was our, our biggest charge with this car. And how's the gray bars? It's it's still there, but... Um, Gosh, I, it's hard to see. Yeah, it's still, uh, maybe it's gone down a little. It's all, it, They're so small. I wish, anyways. Yeah. Let me message the engineer and tell him, and then see if he says anything. If not, we're going to head out. Okay. The bars just all disappeared. Yay! Yeah. And I mean, it looks the same as it did before, but it, yep, right there. Is there a dot of dust? There's like a little dot. There's the one bar. Oh, there was one bar and it just went away. No, there's one bar. Oh, okay. it, uh, maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to, yeah. they really need to make the this power meter more legible. Yeah. Okay. So, That's amazing. We're good to go. Yay. Just to see if they're in their car. I can't see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, they are. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go give them a sticker. Okay. Ah! Oh my gosh. Ooh. <laughs> We're about to leave. There's another Maki over here, a beautiful star white. And I have a little secret planned. I have My Little Pony stickers and other stickers, and I've got to go give them one to say I like their ponies. So let's go <laughs> give them a sticker. Hello! Are you gonna put your My Little Pony sticker up? Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like, slap her on there for you. Right, right on, on this beautiful star white Maki. What's your name? I'm Blake. Blake? Wyatt. Ryan? Wyatt. Wyatt, nice to meet you. I'm Liv, that's my husband Patrick, and I'm Maki. Nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. We just love Makis. I'm so glad that I got to give you a My Little Pony sticker. Yeah. How long have you so, had this for? 
I like six months. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. It is super sweet. It yeah. looks amazing. It's different, but they're fun. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, it was nice to meet you. You too. Yeah. All right, I gave my pony. I'm not using the camera with the mic, so you don't have to worry about it. No, but sticker. while I was giving the pony sticker to that sweet Star White, I didn't ask what the name of the car was. I asked what the name of the people was. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. No. <laughs> <laughs> people are important. But it dropped to 106 degrees while I was gone. That's so awesome. Oh, good stuff. I shared about the. Good God, got to turn on. Air conditioning? One pedal. Oh, one pedal. Yeah, none of that shaky, jerky driving, thank you. 104 degrees, yay! <laughs> we have like two or three gray bars, which is very light. The, we started with nothing, but when he accelerated to get on the highway, a couple came back. And I did it a, rather gentle, but it is still warm. Uh, who knows if we can still get to Vegas? We're still gonna try. <laughs> I, I, I just don't know. I feel much better now, though, and really optimistic. Yeah, because I, I feel like the turtle will protect you. Really <laughs> help me feel better. <laughs> yeah. So I feel better about everything, and if nothing else, it's like, okay, so we have to charge for three hours on a level two in Vegas, or go through this whole process again. We can, it, it's 7.09, we could get to Vegas even at one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and, and then we'll still be on target, we'll be quite tired and all that, but we'll be able to make the meetup, and we'll then, be able to get to San Diego, hopefully. Well, then that would be the, the thing is, is like if we run into another issue, it's like, we can then we'd have car. to make a decision, do we leave the car in Vegas and go to San Diego, um, maybe stay another night in Vegas, wait We're not gonna worry about that now. I just feel better that we're moving. Yeah. I sort of, I feel a little bad that we didn't just turn the car off and walk away from it in Beaver. Well, cause that's even, the way that you fix every electronic. But, right? but also the engineer, cause when I said, should we take it to a car wash? Cause somebody's like, would a car wash help? So that's why we did that. Or we're thinking about that. But then the engineer is like, no, just no, leave it running. Just leave it running yeah. because the car has a battery management system and it should handle that. It should handle the extreme temps no matter what. So, um, and they've tested it in Death Valley and all sorts of things. So it should be no issue. And the best thing to do is to leave the car on because when it's off, the pumps aren't working and it's literally just has to cool with whatever air is blowing over it. So I keep saying so. Sorry. So, sorry, not an apology. It's interesting when you start filming yourself and watching yourself, you're like, wow, I say this and that a lot, or I do this a lot. So I think it's kind of informative. It's like going to Toastmasters and you become aware yeah. of things. And just so you know, I'm taking it relatively easy right now with the car. Uh, still have it hit 80. I'm getting closer to it because I just wanted to see how it's doing. So I was doing like 70, then 72. Well, a bit back down to 74. Oh, I'm 102 degrees. Okay, let's floor it. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, this is great. This is cool. We, if we can do this and get to Vegas, we'll get to Vegas by like 10.30, something. It'll be good. 10, 11. Well, we have three hours plus some charging. Yeah, so it might be a little. As long as we can get to Vegas, we're all good. Um, now you know. If you have that issue exactly Thanks like no. we had it, huh? Knock on wood that hopefully no one has. Um, just leave your car for 10 minutes and it will sleep cycle. That is what the engineer told us is sleep cycling and that's how you make it happen. Um, just go away and it's like, no one wants me. There are a lot of things with the Mach-E that if you let it go into a sleep cycle, which is about 10 minutes, it will resolve on its own. So if you have like issues like Blue Cruise won't engage, and it's giving you like warning errors, uh, whatever. You can try like rebooting the sync screen. That really doesn't do much except for the sync screen. But everything else, give it 10 minutes, turn it back on, see if it goes away. For some of them, like if it's like stop safely now, it may not reset, but it's worth a try before, well, you know, even if you call a tow truck, turn the car off, walk away, come back, 15 minutes later, if it's clear, you can cancel the tow truck. 
because it'll probably take a while for that tow truck to come. So, yeah. <laughs> still 102 degrees, and you're outputting a whole ton more battery power. That was like 60 there for a bit. <laughs> yeah, still, I'm slowly, I'm at 79. So, anyways, <sighs> we know this video is getting really long. And we or still maybe have some, it is. Some more Hopefully. worry yeah. to come up. Uh, but we're not going to white knuckle it. We're not biting our nails now. We're just going to. Take it, take it slow, take it calm. Yeah, if the sun goes down, yeah, we don't like driving like that because it makes it hard to film because it's dark, but the cooler the temperature temperatures would be nice. Yeah. However, we've got a long trip to go all the way to California in some of the hottest conditions on a heat wave weekend. So this could just be the beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are we in for? All right, but for now, we just want to get to St. George. Washington slash St. George. The next stop. Woo. We're holding at 99 degrees and Patrick was just mapping stuff since it's going so well. So the Washington slash St. George charger is 16 miles, right? Uh, but the one in Mesquite, Nevada is 55 miles. We have the range to get there. So I'm thinking it doesn't matter where I charge. I just need another like maybe, uh, what did I say? Like 50 miles of range, 60 miles of range. So I could do it at either one. And one of the advantages of waiting to Mesquite is hopefully temperatures are going down as well as the fact that before we get to Mesquite, we'll be going through the little corner of Arizona and speed limit's like 65 through there. That's a little bit easier on the car. Uh, so could just be like, let's, let's get closer to Vegas. Um, and we don't need the restroom now. So rather push it. Yeah. And that so. way if we need the bathroom break and then after Mesquite, see how far Vegas is. No, I don't want to do it. No, let's do it on this one just because it's easier. Navigate to Las Vegas. Sure, Las Vegas. 137 miles. So 27 miles difference. Uh, so really just a splash and dash in out of spec style. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll have an hour and a half until Vegas. Oh yeah. Which will be amazing. That's so perfect. It's, yeah. It'll be like 80 miles to Vegas after Mesquite. So that's, that's nice. Perfect. Let's do that. Still 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Still just a little gray, but all good. Welcome to Arizona! Boop, 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 boop. We're almost at our exit. Uh, if we go to trip overview, it's saying we're gonna get there at 27% battery and we need to charge to 45% to get to Las Vegas with 10% battery. We may not go much above that. Um, normally I'd wanna go in a little bit higher. There is level two uh, Tesla charging at our hotels. Hopefully that's free and vacant and we can use that. If not, there's an Electrify America charger. But what we may do is wait until the morning to charge instead of charging tonight. This is all still pending if this charge goes okay. Uh, 15 minutes, hopefully it'll be okay. I think what we'll, what I'm gonna plan on doing is at Walmart, if you need to go to the bathroom, go for it. I'll monitor the car for 15 minutes and then I'll run in after we unplug. So let me hit that. Don't want to miss our exit one mile away. Uh, <laughs> which one do we plug in at? At least that's clear. Yeah. I hope. 
Oh my gosh, I hope. Okay, we're not mic'd up this time, but uh, we're just gonna plug in. I'm gonna monitor the battery temperatures with my phone. Of course, I have to have the car on to do it. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. Connecting the vehicle. The screen looks a little janky. Oh, our friend Fernanda mentioned dots on the screen and she thinks it's because it's been like the plasma has been burning in the heat yeah. or melting. So this must be what she was talking about because that looks bleh, bleh. <laughs> There's, oh, okay, okay there's a sound. Charging. It says charged to 45% in the car. I'm not gonna go hardly any above that, um, but let's see here. Battery temperature is 102. We got a little bit hotter outside as we came down in elevation. I think it's, uh, let's see if Google tells me. Authorized. Oh, and the fans kicked on. Good. Good sign. Great sign. And it's charging at 44. Oh, listen to that. Uh, and this is a case where if all of this, all of it, all it's giving me is 44, I'm actually okay with that. Yeah. But those high charging temperatures can be, or high charging speeds can really increase the battery temperature. Um, this screen is going slow. Yeah, it's 46. only giving me 46. Yeah, that's okay. That's uh, a bummer though for anyone else who wants to fast charge because there's only other one other working and those two don't work. And where's the Chatamo? Is this the Chatamo? Oh is. yeah. So this is the Chatamo. So at least that one's working. Um, but obviously the screen is melted or burned. Uh, you can see the Electrify America logo. <laughs> So this will just take us longer, but I'm sort of oddly happy that it's not giving us uh, 150 right now or 130 right now. Yeah, 46 um, is absolutely perfect. On that note, Patrick's looking through the phone, keeping track of the temperature and stuff. I'm gonna go dig in the back. Everything so far so good. Cross your fingers with us, okay? Still says 102 for the temperature. I'll just keep a watch of that. And if that starts climbing, we know 125 it did not like, and it didn't really get rid of the gray or get rid of the turtle until it was like 118 or so. 116. 116. No, 116. 113. I'm not sure now. Yeah. You guys tell us. You watched the video. So, anyways, we'll. I'll just keep a watch. If it gets above like 110, I'll start panicking. <laughs> All right, Blucifer is charging slowly. Blucifer, Tucifer. And I'm gonna run to the restroom, but I was just happily walking along here and then I thought I would document how nice this is that we have a ramp here. So we have a, <laughs> we have debris, which sucks, but we have a dip in the ramp here because not only is wheelchair accessibility important to get in and out of your vehicle and get to the charge, but also like, how do you get up here? So <laughs> there's a dip here and then this ramp takes you all the way to the store and you're not in the way of parking. So if you think about all those parking lots where you're like literally dodging cars, how do you get out of the way? Can they see you, especially if you're in a mobility device that's at a height that they're not expecting? So this is so nice. I really like this. We've got this great ramp over here and then it goes, transitions directly into a pedestrian walkway into the store. Super awesome. A dip right here. And obviously we have the handicap parking and there's no lip up here, so everyone can easily access this safe walkway. Really nice. We're, we're still at 100 degrees. Okay, um, not 102? Oh, it actually went down. Oh, great. To 100. The fans quieted down even, so I'm like, what's going on? It worried me. Well, maybe it's because the charger is so slow. Patrick is running because he's very worried just that any issue will happen. But the high voltage battery is at 100. I think he's really right because the um, fans stopped making that crazy sound. So let's see, can we see that from here? Oh, nice and lazy. $7.31 so far. We've been charging for 22 minutes. Really haven't gotten much of a charge because it's so slow, which is great for us right now, but bummer for anyone else. I'm so interested, like, what that one is charging at. Um, it's not both 150s. Both of those dark. 
Uh, I haven't really seen that before. It's kind of nice, at least, that they're dark and, and not working, as opposed to the ones that, like, you pull up to, and it looks like that, and then the screen changes, and it's, like, um, unavailable, charger unavailable. That's always a bummer. So, anyways, temperature's still 100. Hey, focus. Still 100. We're still good. We're all good. We have, like, 120 miles of range. The hotel is 88 miles. You can still hear the fans going, uh, but we're gonna just go so that we can get some sleep tonight. It's about eight o'clock. We have an hour and a half to go. And uh, battery temperature went from 100 to 102. So still in a good, good range. But uh, as soon as it stops, very laggy EA. There we go. Uh, 22.687 kilowatt hours, 53% is where we ended. We started at 28%. It was 29 minutes because it was slow and it's updating the session fee and all that. It doesn't matter because it's coming out of our free. All right, and there we go. The charging cost is $9.46. Like you said, 22.7 kilowatt hours, basically 29 minute charging time. And we are out of here. So we finished at 12%, 27 miles of range. We didn't track like that last segment and stuff like that, but um, let's just do for, well, that was the last segment for when we got in the car. So I guess we did do that, yeah. but we didn't do the one before that, whatever. 86.5 <laughs> miles, 2.3 miles per kilowatt hour. I'm surprised it was that low. Trip one is today. We did 407 miles today, 2.5 miles per kilowatt hour. We did sit in the car for an hour with the um, cooling running. An hour and a half. Hour and a half. <laughs> so far, to get to Vegas, 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, I think in April, we had 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour in Blucifer, but last year, in similar conditions, we had 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour. Of course, I need to verify some of this, and some of this is off now because we uh, basically sat in the car for an hour and a half with the AC running. So I don't know if that threw it off. There's a Tesla charger here. I want to see, it looks like there's two of them. So we're going um, to put on the parking brake, first of all. And so as you can see, we have 27 miles of range left, 12%. And at one point we got that gray bar popped up again, uh, which is very scary, but we're wondering if that is because our battery percentage is so low. So, yeah, I think it might've kicked on at 15% and Liv had the like forethought to say like, hey, maybe it's because of the battery percentage. So um, hopeful. <laughs> I'm going to actually have the Tesla adapter in the front. So I'm gonna try and see if that works. Yay. All right, so the charger's not working. This is the handicap parking. We've got a handicap placard, so we're just gonna stay here and call it good. We made it. We made it. We'll tell the hotel chargers down, but we're parked here. Hopefully, we don't get towed or anything. Yeah, we'll let them know. I'm sure it'll be fine. And if it's not, we'll move. So here we are in the darkness. <laughs> in the darkness. In front of Lucifer Trucifer in Vegas. We made it. Yeah, and maybe we'll do a recap and add on to this. If not, it's going to end that quickly. But uh, <laughs> anyways, we made it to Vegas with a turtle hot battery disaster that wasn't. That that wasn't. But, you know, the stuff is scary and it's just it's just scary. There's no... No one to fix your car, even if there is a service station. Do they are they EV certified? Like I don't. This is all yeah. you guys know, and we shared the real deal. So, <laughs> uh, stay tuned or like uh, subscribe because you'll find out if we had more problems going across the Mojave Desert tomorrow. But we're also doing a Maki meetup. We're doing a bunch of stuff down in San Diego. So subscribe and see if we've had any more issues or if that was just a 
a glitch in the matrix. Hopefully, which is literally what the engineer said to us. Um, but yeah, check out the next video where we're going to have a meetup in Vegas tomorrow, unless anything happens. Um, hopefully it'll be the biggest Maki meetup ever. So um, far. So far. But fortunately, we called ahead to this hotel because their restaurant closes now. Uh, but we ordered food, so we're going to go do that. So thank you so much for joining us for this crazy video. Thank you to our patrons. Uh, we met one today Yay. at the beginning so, of this video. Uh, so long ago. It was so nice to meet you, Let's Jim. Let's put it down like this so then... Our I, shirts. My hand is tired. No, not our shirts. We're going to put the patrons oh. right here. Our, 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 our. So hi. Hi. All of these people. Uh, the mics that we were wearing, you know, like the little fuzzy thing, that's supposedly to help like with the wind noise and it's like wireless. So hopefully we have really good sound. That's thanks to people like that. And also this is a new phone. So hopefully we have good visibility like right now, uh, right now, because we were having problems shooting footage in the dark. So we're trying to juggle lots of things and get better. And so the sound may not be great, but the visibility might be great, but we should go. We should go. I'm hungry. Right? Can you just do your <laughs> outro? <laughs> you do the outro. Uh. <laughs> oh, shut up. Just remember that whatever you drive, even if it has a turtle on it and you're freaking out, don't worry. The turtle is there to protect you. So just enjoy the ride. Yeah, that was good. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye.